是人生，成就生命。生命电视与您一同拥抱生命，迎向未来。接下来，请收看《波若讲座》。But first, always passion. First time. Second time. Third time. Even third time doesn't work. Then you see. Okay. Yeah. That's patient is finished. What is number four? Effort. What we call ah, jing jing. Sometimes you call ah diligent, yeah. 比如说我们讲那个 diligent， 用英文的。But the diligent sometimes this translation in in English is not really right. 但事实上呢，英文里面的这个 diligent 这个字呢，从英文的角度来看，它事实上是不那么正确的。Diligent doesn't have a joy. So meaning of the number four six parameter, the essence of number four six parameter is is with interest. So what I call joyful effort. 所以呢，我们先称之为呢，是一种呃喜悦的努力。所以，所以 very important to develop your interest. When you do anything, very important to develop interest. 所以呢，我当你在做任何的事情的时候，很重要的是你要去呃开发出你对这件事情的那个兴趣。So once you have interest, 一旦呢你具有这个兴趣的时候 ，then you have effort. 那么你就能够努力。Very easy, very joyful, and you will achieve your goal more easy. So if you don't have interest, if you don't want to do that, then it's become very difficult. Even small effort makes you a big problem. The essence of um, joyful effort is how to say mm, your mind inspired by something inspiration inspiration your mind inspired by something and full of interest. And and wish to do. So how to develop this joyful effort? I think first important is you have to see what are you do, what are you doing. So now you first need to understand what you are doing. And also, if you do something, it benefit for others, then automatically you have some kind of like interest or joy within you. 同时呢，如果你做某一些事情，它能够利益到其他人的话，那么在那同时，很自然的内心里面呢，也会升起那样一种喜悦的心。It's not guilt. 
And that's why it's also depend on the how you make decision decision for your life, yeah? Your direction. Which way to go? That's why if you want to do something, important thing or big thing, first you have to think well. And then make decision. But don't always think even small decisions. Should I buy Zanzu Naisa? Maybe I shouldn't buy Zanzu Naisa. But I like to drink Zanzu Naisa. But if I drink Zanzu Naisa, it's not good for my body. Because so many sugars. But my friend like. So maybe I buy for my friend. But if I buy, if my friend doesn't work, what should I do? Maybe I will buy later. So wait a little bit. But if I wait, waste my time. So in the end, I cannot buy. I cannot buy and I lost my time. But if I buy now, what happens? Who knows? <laughs> Don't think like that with the small things too much. You know? <laughs> you cannot achieve all the time whatever you want. So some decisions you have to make random, you know. So don't think always perfect. With any decision, you cannot have 100% perfect. There's a gain and loss. But you, you will not lose all the time. You will not lose all your you, you cannot become all your decisions are wrong. You cannot be right all the time, whatever you make decision. Yeah. So you have to know these things, yeah? <laughs> but the big things, you have to think well, and how to make decision. What we call there's four things. First, uh, see what your what your heart feel, heart feel, feel. Everybody has there's some kind of like inner desire. Which is you want to do something. Almost like there's some connection with you and whatever things there. Almost like there's connection with you and whatever things there or whatever situation in the life. Yeah. So that's the one. And, and second is see your skill. Capability or your how to say special knowledge or special experiences. And third, see the general situation. 
，来看一看呢，一般的现在、呃、大致上的状况是什么样？啊、um, ，for the job, see what kind of job in general is good in the in this time or in somewhere、uh, future something like that. 譬如说呢，在找工作的时候，看一看呢，现在在大环境上面。什么样的工作呢？在现在的时代，甚至在未来的时候，它会是比较适合等等这样的一件。And last one， 那第四点是 ，If you want to choose very risky one, unstable one. If you have option, choose stable one. 如果呢，你有这个机会，能够呢去选择一个呃非常稳定的，就一个选择一个很高风险的。Stable. If you have option to choose stable one or very risky one, choose stable one. Yeah. Okay. 如果呢，你有这样一个机会去决定呢，到底是要选择一种安定的状态，还是一种很危险的状态 ？Okay. Based on these four. 那么就以这四个要点为基础。You can make decision. 你可以呢是下决定。But you don't have to make decision within one or two days. Yeah. You can write in the paper. You can write in the paper. Option number one, two, three, four, five, whatever. Um, write down, write down, write down, write down, write down. Good, no good, good, no good. Um, is it good or is it not good? Good or is it not good? If you have five options, if you have five options, and yes or yes, no each. Then, 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 Become ten, yeah. 嗯，各有啊，可否？那就总共有十个的选择，对不对？是不是 ？And you can pray if you have, if you, if you have any puva or vavasa or anything. If you want to pray, normally you can pray to them also to to have better knowledge. 哈哈哈哈哈。那所以呢，就是如果说你平常修法的时候呢，有特别的一些护法或者是修法的。啊，祈求佛菩萨，你也可以呢，就向这些佛菩萨父王们祈请，让你呢能够具有更好的一个智慧去选择。And and you can think about afternoon. 啊，之后呢，你可以啊，在下午的时候去思考。Yeah, sometime. And then you, then you sleep. 然后之后呢，睡觉。And morning you wake up. 然后呢，第二天早上醒来。Sometimes you have very good idea in the morning. 有时候呢，在早上的时候，你会很可能会有一些很好的一些想法。After good sleep, you know, after the sleep after the sleep, and you can make note. And do that for a few times. And then do that for a few times. And 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 do that for a few Start. Give up. Start. Give up. Then you waste time. In the, in the end, you cannot achieve anything. It's become like this. If you want to go to the top of this mountain, let it walk. Give up. Let it walk. Give up. Give up. Give up. So in the end, it could do nothing, yeah? So once you make a decision, make an effort. So if you work continually, you know? Maybe tired. Maybe obstacle. But if you, achieve, if you reach the top of the mountain, is equal to coming from here and here and here. So one, once you achieve one, and that is equal to achieve many things. Yeah. Okay, now this is about, in general, it's about effort, yeah? Um, joyful effort is finished. Okay, now what is next? Number five. Chanting. Meditation. Concentration. 
Concentration is very important with any situation. If you don't concentrate, then there's no power. For example, in Taiwan there's sometimes waterfall, yeah? Small, small, small rivers coming from mountain or waterfall. And then there's a waterfall coming from the from the mountain, and the below the mountain there's a sand sand field. Sand, yeah, some sandy, sand, rocks, you know, many different things. So if this water go to the sand, it spread out, yeah. Go to many, many, many places. Then you, you cannot use water. You cannot drink. You cannot wash. Maybe there's a lot of big amount of water is there. Maybe there's, there's many water there. But because the waters are not concentrated. If water is not concentrated, then, then there's no power. So concentration is very important. Four fingers, yeah? So each finger tries to lift many different things. Try to lift up the table. Difficult, yeah? Four, four fingers joined together, concentrate. Hold. <laughs> See, you can move. Yeah. <clears throat> so how to have concentration? First concentration, you have to begin with your boss. Your boss, yeah. So you have to go to the, your company or, or um, office. So do you have boss? If you don't have boss, then you cannot concentrate. <laughs> no, no, can't watch that. I'm not talking about boss in the company. Boss within you. So who is your boss? Mine. Good. <laughs> so you have to you have to teach how to concentrate to your boss, which is your mind. So if your mind has concentration, then your your action has concentration. Your behave will have concentration. Then your job have concentration. Yeah. For example. Uh, what we call uh, professional. If you are professional, then it becomes very success, yeah? Why professional has concentration? Yeah. Okay, now, how to have concentration? And the concentration which is in the sixth paramedha is meditation. 
So I will teach you a little bit of meditation. And I think I will teach you a very simple meditation. The most simple meditation. And this is most simple meditation for Asia, Asian people. I found this, you know, I don't know. Do you know normal Omidobo? How many of you know normal Omidobo? And how many of you don't know normal Omidobo? Nobody? Good. Okay. Say normal Omido. Omidofo. Yeah, say Namo Amitofo in your mind. Don't move your lips. Close your mouth. Mm. Don't move your lips and tongue. In your mind. Say no more Omitobo, no more Omitobo, no more Omitobo. Now we're going to practice this together. Please keep your spine straight and relax muscles in your body. Now please close your eyes. Say Namo Amitabha in your mind. Sometimes you forgot to say Namo Amitabha, it's okay. You can come back and say Namo Amitabha again. Now, please open your eyes. Say Namo Amitabha continued. Okay. How was it? Can you say Namo Amitabha in your mind? And that is meditation. Because in order to say this in your mind, you have to use mindfulness awareness. Because you are you're not using your lips and tongues. You're using... When you say this in your mind, that means you're only using awareness and mindfulness. So actually, there's two benefits. Buy one, get one free. <laughs> so, what are you buying for? Shamada. Meditation. But you had one free benefit. It's saying Amitabha. Pray, pray to Buddha. Uh, if you pray Namo Amitabha and mind go here and there, not much benefit. What should I do tomorrow, Namo Amitabha? No, yeah, that person is very bad, you know, say something bad to someone, Namo Amitabha. No, so much benefit, yeah? So, <laughs> so if mind and the, uh, pray join together, a lot of benefit. 
So if you say Namo Amitabha in your mind, pray and mandra together. But you will forget time to time. Okay, no problem. Namo Amitabha. Namo Amitabha. Namo Amitabha. What should I do after this? Namo Amitabha. I haven't had dinner yet. Namo Amitabha. Maybe I should eat Chodabha. Or sometimes it becomes like this. Namo Amitabha. Namo Ami Tofu That's also okay. No problem, but you can come back again. Then your concentration becomes more clear, <laughs> more clear and more clear. Okay, this meditation is finished. And what is the last one? Yeah, Paramita. And the wisdom, meaning of wisdom is um, to know what what things you should uh, you should accomplish what things you should do what things you have to abandon eliminate yeah and there are three wisdoms Wisdom of learning, wisdom, wisdom from learning, and wisdom from practice contemplation. Practice, experience, experience. And the third is wisdom from meditation. Uh, this And the the main important of the wisdom is emptiness. Uh, and what is emptiness? Very easy. Empty and nest, that's all. <laughs> so what is empty? Everything doesn't have inherently existence. And what is nest? Yet, everything is there. Anything is possible. There is unlimited potential. Because nothing there, that's why everything is there. So, emptiness is equal to fullness. For example, if there's a, if you want to write something, if the base is white, white is not color, yeah? Sometimes scientists say that white is not color. Because no color, any color can be there. Full potential, yeah? So emptiness is like that. 
And if you understand emptiness, so emptiness practice together with the generosity. And generosity practice become paramita. What we call paramita. Meaning of paramita is go beyond. So gone beyond from what? From concept. How to go beyond of concept? Through wisdom of emptiness. Yeah. So then all the like discipline also if you mix together with uh, emptiness and become parameda also. Okay, now six parameters finish. Teaching is finished. But six parameters are not finished within you. So don't be finished, okay? <laughs> don't finish six parameters together with my teaching. <laughs> Any questions? That's, the emptiness is best practice for how to let go. How to how to let go, yeah. So why we cannot let go? There's special glue. There's special Glue, no glue. Just it. Super glue. Or uh, magnetic. <laughs> and where is the glue? Glue is here. Not there. <laughs> Normally, glue or magnetic is here, yeah? And anything, any metal close, you know. But now, glue is the magnetic power is here. Become like this. Yeah? Understand? So what is this magnetic power? Grasping. And this grasping, where is this grasping come from? Not really knowing the nature of reality. If you know the real nature of reality, then there's no magnetic. Your mind totally will open. Like space. So anything is possible in the space, yeah? Space is very soft. Soft. And very gentle. Very smooth. But very powerful. Without space, we cannot be here. You cannot cut space. You cannot burn space. Even you use atom bomb. It's an un, um, indestructible 
，所以呢，他是不会被干扰的。Vesto， 毁灭的，对不起，他非常的那种强壮的。The number one strongest phenomenon in the world。他是呢，这个世界呢最最坚强的一个一种镜像，对不对？ But it's very soft. But it's actually very soft. It's 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 One very special mantra. And only mantra, no benefit. There's special mudra. That's why mantra and mudra together. Then you will achieve direct realization within one life right now. 那么呢，你就可以呢，在这一生当中，现在就在这当下呢，直接的证悟。So、you have to say this mantra and mudra together three times. 只要呢，你能够呢，念诵这个咒语，结这个手印三次。Then you know, achieve enlightenment. 你马上呢就能够证悟。But this mantra and mudra is very precious. 但是呢，这个咒语跟手印呢，都是非常的啊殊胜的。So very secret. 这是秘密。So、I cannot tell you. <laughs> no, no, no. Kai Wan Xiao. There's no such mantra. Kai Xiao, no such mantra. There's no such mudra. No such mudra. So there's no. How to say? Ah.、Uh, Shortcut. <laughs> so, boom, 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 emptiness. Today, no emptiness. Tomorrow, emptiness. Achieve emptiness or achieve direct realization of emptiness. Not like that. Looks like there's some story. Looks like there's some story. It's, it happens like that. 看起来好像呢，在某一些故事上面呢，好像总是这样的发生的。Special in Zen story。特别呢，在我们禅宗的故事里。But， 但是呢 ，like like like example， when Buddha was in India， 举个例来讲，像佛在印度的时候。Buddha said something and someone directly realized emptiness。有佛呢讲了某一个开示，哎，某一个人他马上证悟。They have a lot of good devotion。他们呢具有很多很好的这种无形就是虔诚恭敬。And they are learned it before. Or they have a karmic connection from past life. They are ready. Then once there's right condition, right cause condition together. Then you recognize emptiness. So I, there's no special shortcut. The best is practice. Practice, 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 and practice. You can practice everywhere. You can at any time. 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 Again, need mantra and mudra. Yeah, I still need to say in and out. Ah, Kai Wanshao. Ah, I think if you want to help someone, if you want to help someone, first you have to make connection. So, first you have to make connection. Try to understand the other people's, other person's. Mind. Feeling. Be as friend. Don't try to be as like teacher. Or father and mother. Or father and mother. 
hyper. Hmm. Why you are afraid, you know? It's meaningless. Don't say like that. Then other people are more upset. <laughs> so you try to really understand others. You become friend. Make, fr- make like friend. And they also trust you. And they are very appreciated if you really understand them. People who have this problem, sometimes they feel very alone. So other people don't understand them. So if you really want to help them, don't think I want to help you. Think that I want to understand you. So once you understand them, then you can give some suggestion. But just listening to their problem is like giving helping them. Even you cannot give suggestion. Listening to their problem is one of the best ways to help them. But if you want to give suggestion for them, very slow. Don't push. Through story, using other people's example, sharing your own example, and how you use meditation, and how do you learn how to accept the panic, not fight, don't follow, so on, so on. Okay. Okay, now finish. Ah, question? Okay, last question. Of course. But easy to say. <laughs> difficult to do. Nice idea. Nice to say. But when, when, when it comes to you, very difficult. So you have to know how to present this information very skillful. Present. How to, how to say. How to say this information very skillfully. How to how to saw ni shang shang Okay, now thank you very much for all of you and thank you very much for here at the center. Um, yeah. here and all the members are making a lot of effort to have this event. And now we're going to have dedication. And dedicate uh, the virtues um, from receiving this teaching and practice this teaching and giving this teaching. Giving. Okay. I give this teaching, okay. you receive this teaching, and we all practice together. Okay. So we all together accumulate a lot of good virtues. Yeah.
叫慈悲之业基金会以宣扬佛陀正法、培育优秀生才、积极社会公益为旨志。二十多年来，借由各项法务推广宣扬佛法慈悲智慧，如全省各中心的成立，让信众有学习佛法的道场，实践了弘扬佛法教育的功能性。尤其印证佛经法宝结缘，让大众接触佛法。明白因果业报观念，才能断恶修善，改善命运。所有的方便法门，都是为了引导现代人认识佛教、学习佛法，才能离苦得乐。这是慈悲置业的长期以来的使命。为了护持佛法永续，利益更多众生，佛教慈悲置业基金会邀您继续护持。共同推动慈悲置业的各项会务，让佛法甘露遍洒各地，润泽群生。护持邮局划拨账号：五零四四四四六八，五零四四四四六八。户名：财团法人佛教慈悲置业基金会。佛教慈悲置业基金会总管理处。地址：宜兰县三星乡三星路二段二十号，电话：零三九八九九三一九，零三九八九九三一九，传真：零三九八九八七八七，零三九八九八七八七。佛教慈悲置业基金会台南分会书法班招生，方朝忠老师教授，日期七月十三日星期三开始，每周三下午三点到五点。招收对象国小、国中生，请提早报名。报名电话：零六二七一六六一六，零六二七一六六一六。地点：台南市永康区永大路二段三百四十五号。敬邀菩萨参与熏习，同沾法意，共沐福恩。配合防疫措施，参加共修，敬请佩戴口罩，量体温。大家好，我是食药署署长吴秀美。目前陆续核准家用 COVID-19 检验试剂产品，民众可以到药局、药妆店等合法通路购买。购买时注意外盒的防疫专案核准字号、效期。使用前详阅说明书，并洗净双手进行裁剪。裁剪后，将已使用的裁剪试纸及试剂用塑胶袋密封包好。居家隔离或检疫者，裁剪结果如果是阳性，请联系当地卫生局或拨一九二二。其他民众裁剪如果是阳性，请不要搭乘大众运输，尽快到社区裁剪院所检测，并携带塑胶袋密封的裁剪器材给院所人员。裁剪结果如果是阴性，塑胶袋密封的裁剪器材移搬的社处理，并遵循防疫规范，持续自我健康管理。
之前说到过，很多人问卓姐，哪个宗派的见解他比较推崇？卓姐始终保持中立状态，对每一个人的这个观点呢，啊、呃，都应声附和，表示赞同。但是呢，一旦讲到行持问题的时候呢，他就会判若两人，不轻易迎合任何人。为什么呢？因为在他看来啊，见解或者理论是可以百家争鸣，大家一同探讨是没有问题的。但是呢，真正的实修是必须从最基本的法门入手。所以说，无论我们属于哪种根器，从最基础夏师傅的内容学起。是求我姐一直以来的坚持和原则。有的时候呢，我们会有一种误解啊，以为夏师傅的“夏”就是低下、低等的意思，所以呢，一听到夏师傅啊，马上就心里就看不上，觉得层次不够高。其实完全不是这样。夏师傅的“夏”是相对于上师傅的“上”来说的，但是呢，对于我们的水平来说，夏师傅实际上就已经是上师傅，因为我们连夏师傅的水平都还没有达到，比如啊，人生难得，死亡无常，啊，因果业力这些概念啊，我们都。还没入心，还没完全建立起来，所以呢，啊、呃，要先看清自己的水平，再去学习适合自己的法门。以前噶丹派就有这样的一个故事，也是关于夏拉瓦大师的。那个时候啊，夏拉瓦大师、嗯、还还很年轻。听说后藏秘法兴盛，于是呢，就决定启程前往后藏，去完整、系统的学习秘法。途中呢，经过一个叫做打龙汤的地方，刚好被啊，刚好这个波多瓦大师啊正在宣讲到次第，于是呢，这个夏尔瓦。就在那儿听了一堂课，听完之后呢，他马上意识到，自己这辈子学习秘法是彻底没戏了。于是呢，他就决定潜心修学道次第法门。那年夏天，就在波多瓦座前认真学习了《集学论》。当时，夏尔瓦正好有一个叔叔。担任一座寺院的住持，所以呢，家人们呢，呃，也期望夏拉瓦能够接任这个住持的位置。可是呢，《集学论》当中有这样一段话，意思是说，如果成为寺院的执事，呃，就总是免不了造作造作一些过失。夏拉瓦一想到这。毅然决然的回绝了住持的安排，从此呢，就是留在波多瓦大师身边学习，直到波多瓦圆寂。后来，噶丹派的大德是这样来评价的：夏尔大师是一位真正有福有福之人，不同凡响。为什么这么说呢？他仅仅是听到了几句法，就能下得了这么大的决心。可是我们这些呢，我们这些人呢，就算听了一百遍、一千遍，也下不了任何决心。所以说，我们不要小看这些最基础的修行，虽说是基础，但同时也是可以指引。啊，直接引导成就的法门。
法不在高，不在深，关键在于有没有入心。要是没有基础的修习，那学习大乘密法都只是枉然。波多瓦曾经说过：“以前我的修行不够扎实，道行不够深，所以做了很多密法的。”持诵，做过很多大刀马，也观修过空性，也修过本尊大手印，但是现在看起来是时候该观修无常了。所以我们要知道，修法是修给自己的，不是修给别人看的，呃，也不是用来跟人家攀比。自己什么水平，要心知肚明，不能眼高手低，好高骛远。连波多瓦、夏尔瓦这样鼎鼎有名的大师，都觉得自己高攀不起秘法。我们怎么好意思一直说啊，自己要学习大圣，甚至秘法？总之呢，我们已经啊、呃、反复说明了，夏师傅的知识是必须，呃呃要修行的课程。护持功德殊胜行。无边胜福皆回向，普愿成溺诸众生，速往无量光佛刹，十方三世一切佛，一切菩萨摩诃萨，摩诃般若波罗蜜。